What? I don't know what to talk about. Okay, we're going to talk about your first day of school. Okay. I think I need to intro this. And now... Hey, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to a special edition of the Still End Name Podcast. I'm Mark, tired of Pete's shit, Rodriguez. And along me, as always, is my co-host... Alyssa... I was done waiting for him to do a podcast, so I decided I'm going to do my own podcast, and uh, hopefully he can get it out by Taco Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, So today was a very special day. Today was Harley's first day of school, and I wanted to talk to Alyssa, who's a teacher. It was her first day as a teacher at Harley's school, and just want to know how it went. How did it go? (laughs) (laughs) It went... Awful. Awful. It was so bad. What happened? Um, like, should I start from the very beginning when I drove into the parking lot? Like, that? Yeah. Start from the top. You woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 5.45 in the morning. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. This is going to be your year, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, I ended up with no time to eat breakfast, so I took it with me. Mm-hmm. Planning to eat it at school, but that didn't happen. And, um, well, Harley ended up eating it at the end of the day because I still had it in my purse. But anyway, um, so I rushed to school quickly and, but safely. And you better I, be safely. You got precious cargo on board. That's yeah. my daughter you're talking about. Um, and then I drove into the parking lot just as, like, The clock was turning to the minute that I needed to be there. And, um, well, they had the... This year, they're doing something different with the, like, drop-off, where they're snaking it around the parking lot. They're stealing around the parking lot. Yeah. So, they have portions of it, like, coned off. So, I was going to go around... But there were cones, so I couldn't. So I had to reverse and then turn around. (laughs) And turn around. But I drive like a big-ass van. (laughs) Well, there was a spot. It's not unlike a station wagon. (laughs) Right. There was a spot on my way in. You could cook meth in your van. So I was like, well, I'll just go back and get that spot. So I turned around and um then i was coming from the opposite end which i don't know about you but like <laughs> i'm really bad at making left hand turns <laughs> like right turns i can make but left turns are really hard for me like zoolander <laughs> you can't make left turn you can't turn left so, so um so i was going to turn into a space turned left and took out the car. <laughs> took out the car next you to me. You smashed a car? I did. Um, so we're turning in and I heard... <laughs> <laughs> and I, Harley goes, Mommy, did we hit a car? <laughs> and I was like, yes, we did. So I parked, but of course I'm super late, and I have a lot of things to carry inside, <laughs> plus Harley. So I'm like, well, I'll deal with that later. So you essentially did a hit and run. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, so I get Harley out of the car. So you had been in school... <laughs> For negative three minutes, and it was already a terrible day. Yes. So I get Harley out of the car, and I start unloading all the stuff I have to walk inside, and Harley's like, wow, mommy, I never hit anybody with a car before. (laughs) And I'm like, great, she's going to tell everybody when she goes inside. Harley, what did you do in your summer vacation? My mom hit a car in the parking lot. And then it was Harley's teachers. (laughs) Yep. So, I went and I dropped her off, and then I ran to my classroom, and and then I forgot about the car. Um, <laughs> so, I went on with my day. And, um, yeah, it was just really, really crazy. Um, my kids, 
like to talk a lot. They don't seem like they're bad kids. I don't have what I had last year with like kids throwing desks across the room. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, let me knock on wood. Um, so, but they're very, very talkative. Mm-hmm. And they're a little bit rude. Like, we're, we're instructed to, um, instead of calling out the bad behavior, we're supposed to praise kids who are doing good behavior, which would be fine if I knew anybody's name. Mm. But it was more like, oh, I like how this girl's... Good old red shirt. <laughs> they all have blue shirts. Good old blue <laughs> shirt over here. I was like, oh, I, I like how this person has her head down. Thank you. Is she sleeping in class? <laughs> the best performance is sleeping in class. Actually, you know, I had, I had about four or five students fall asleep in my <laughs> class today. <laughs> So, so you're I, teaching college. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, I tried that mess and it didn't really work because nobody cares. Nobody cares that I'm praising other kids. They're just like, well, good for that kid. Let hey, me keep talking. Kid, you're doing a great job. Keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> I'm going to be telling my friend over here about my super awesome summer. Yeah. Did, these, did some of these kids recognize each other? Because I remember when I was in like kinder going to first grade because you teach first grade mm-hmm. um sometimes you have the same kids that were in your previous grade classroom um so i'll gravitate towards them well not anymore yeah some of them did um but i actually i've got it's about half and half i've got half returning and half brand brand new who didn't know anybody um so a couple people did, but I kind of was sitting them down, not with their friends, because I figured that would be the best way to get them to not talk. But then they just made new friends. You just doubled the friendships <laughs> in class. <laughs> yes. So that was not great. Um, but I, I think I only had like two people cry, and they didn't oh even. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, they're first graders, so they're a little they're bit still older. Pretty. Yeah. Um, one of them. So, what do you do in that situation? You just kind of have to like, oh, it's it's Nut okay, up. don't worry. Um, your mom will be back at the end of the day or whatever. Um, no, but one of them, she was perfectly fine. Like she was, she came in, she was okay. Um, I was telling everybody to put their backpacks on hooks i had labeled the hooks with people's names and um she couldn't find her hook with her name and i said okay that's fine um i'll go ahead and i'll I'll write it on a hook just give me a second and then there were other people who were like i can't find mine and so i was like okay so i was trying to find everybody's hooks and then i made like a little group of people who i still needed to write their names on their hooks Mm -hmm. um so I said, okay, guys, you know, stand right here and, and I'll write your name on a hook. Just give me a second. And then I got distracted because parents are walking in and they're wanting to conference with me right there. And I'm like, I can't really talk to you right now because I've got a you know, class full of full kids. Of kids. And um, so I got distracted and then I was looking for a marker and then I was like, wait, what if these aren't even my students and that's why they're not you know, already here? Mm-hmm. So then I had to go talk to the other teachers and be like hey is this your student and um so i found out yes what that well one of them was in a different class so i was coming back to get her and she is just standing there bawling really yes because i'm pretty sure i took too long in finding her hook and she was I guess I, I don't know. (laughs) She was freaking out. Freaking out that she didn't belong or I don't know. (laughs) I don't have a place in this world. Pretty much. Oh, nobody loves me. So I took a a child who was perfectly fine leaving their mother and. You ruined her. Yes. So I had to walk this crying child across the hall and be like, I'm sorry, this is your child. (laughs) That was probably her car accident of the day. Yeah. Pretty much. This is going to be a great year. (laughs) Oh, uh, your name isn't on a hook. You have to hold your backpack forever. (laughs) 
Yeah, so I had I had a couple of those. I actually had one who I had in my class all day long and didn't realize she was in the wrong class till the end of the day. That's what? Yeah. She must have learned a lot of stuff. <laughs> so it was just a lot of scrambling to get everybody in the right place. I imagine all first days are hectic though. Yeah. And it doesn't help that like parents I mean, I understand it's their first day. You want to pick them up and you want to, how was your first day? And maybe take them somewhere special. But like when you sign up to put your child on the bus route, you should probably tell your teacher well ahead of time that they don't ride the bus because then at 345, when your teacher puts your child on the bus, that's it. Like that's (laughs) it. That child is on the bus and gone, and if you're in the line waiting to pick up your child, um, you're you're, you're probably gonna, gonna have a child. <laughs> yeah, you're probably your gonna child have... is waiting for you at home. <laughs> a big crying. mess trying to find your child because your teacher didn't have a hook on your name. <laughs> name on your hook. Put you on the bus. Yeah. <laughs> and mommy said she was gonna take you to McDonald's, <laughs> but the teacher said no. You gotta go on the bus. Oh my goodness. So, yeah, in case you didn't catch that, I was I was the very first teacher of the day to lose a child at pickup time. Technically, um, <laughs> you didn't lose a child. No, technically not. However, when you've got parents waiting in the parking lot for their child and no one can find that child, <laughs> that would, I mean, that child's lost. But, I mean, so. we found him, right? I, I hope so. I was like, oh I goodness. think I put that child you on a bus. went home. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty... I called her. She was in the parking lot, and I called the mom, and I said, um, in Spanish, by the way, which my Spanish is terrible, I said... Better than mine. Se me hace que se fui <laughs> en el bus. <laughs> which I don't know if that is correct at all, but pretty sure that's... Kind of what I wanted to say. I would have said, uh, hola, <laughs> he's on the bus. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully that parent was able to locate that child. I don't know because I did not follow up because I'm not a great teacher. <laughs> hey, that's something to say on the internet. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see tomorrow if that child shows up. And so, yeah, um, what happened with the uh, with the car accident? Um. Well. Because okay, you started off, you crashed, mm-hmm. and then you made a little girl cry. Uh huh. And then you lost a child. Uh huh. And then what happened? Um. Well, at the end of the day, which, by the way, pickup was so chaotic that it ended up taking like an hour and a half when it should have only taken about twenty minutes. Ugh. Yeah. Um, so it was... So what time did class or school end? School ends at 3.45. So you're usually done about 4, 4, 10. Yes, exactly. But you got done at... At 5, 10. Ugh. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so after pickup, we were instructed to stay and, like, debrief and f- see what went well and what did not go Is well. Is it debrief or debrief? Debrief. Because you said debrief. You're debrief. I'm wearing I don't know what debrief. That means. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Sound anyway. Effects. So <sighs> <laughs> taking off these debriefs. Um so yeah, I had one student left over in my line at the end of pickup and I was like, um, let me see if I can find your mom's name. So I went through my list and that student was not on my list. <laughs> she was not my student, but she's been in my class all day long. So I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't know who you are. <laughs> I was like, am I your teacher? And she said, yes. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, she's like, yeah, you've been teaching me all day. Duh. <laughs> Pretty much. So... I'm walking her to the front office because that's where all the kids go when they haven't been picked up. They're like, Miss Salas, this is a fifth grader. <laughs> um, luckily, 
the receptionist was like walking by and she said, oh, is that Andrea? And I was like, yeah, this is Andrea. Here, take her. Because then I didn't have to deal with anything. You just passed the book. Yeah. So I'm walking and I see um, like all the kinder teachers walking out and Harley's coming down the hall and I'm like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I've got a kid I need to oh, pick up my too. Goodness. So, yeah. Um, you forgot about your daughter. I didn't forget about her. It was just so hectic. And then I forgot. Okay. About her. <laughs> I think you just <laughs> shut yourself up. I forgot that I would have to go and tell her teacher that I'd be in the cafeteria. Oh. <laughs> anyway. So you didn't forget about her. You just forgot about talking about her? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, um... I needed to take her to the meeting because, obviously, I've, I've got a kid, and so she's sitting on my lap, and the principal's trying to talk, and she's she's asking me questions, and and I'm like whispering in her ear, Harley, you know, you can't talk right now, and she's like, but I want to talk, and I'm like, oh my goodness, Harley, and we're right in the front row, right in like right smack in the middle mm. in front of Are the principal. Are you the only one with a kid there? Yeah. Um, well, the principal had her daughter, but her daughter's in second grade and knows how to behave. So she was sitting like behind her and she was super quiet. Probably reading a book. Reading a book, yeah. Ugh. And um, Harley's like, I'm hungry. And, oh, no. And then I don't know what she was doing with her arms, but she kept like raising her arms and I could see the principal's eyes like Dark. get caught. <laughs> and yeah, she was she was just looking at her caught in the corner. With the motion. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my goodness. So I'm I'm trying to, like, calm Harley down because I know that if you don't allow Harley to say something, it gets worse. It gets louder. She gets upset. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, Harley, I promise we'll talk in a little bit. You just need to be really patient, okay? We're almost done. No, you're not almost done. I was like, oh, my goodness, Harley, please stop. And then you can't. Because, like, I don't know if you've ever done this, but I've done this, like, squeeze her arm. Oh, she, oh, I accidentally did she it. she says, ow. ow. Yes. She went, ow. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I said, Harley, you're okay. No, ow. And I was like, Harley, please just stop. And she's like, ah. And I, I knew she was about to start crying. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I, I kind of, like, cuddled her. And I was like, shit, it's okay, Harley. And I was rocking her like a baby because... She's stand or she's sitting in front of my principal, who's mm -hmm. trying to deliver a message on the first day to all of the staff. And did you get any of that message? No, <laughs> no, I have no idea what's going on tomorrow. I know there's a plan for tomorrow, but I don't know. I'll and figure we're it not out. Lose any kids tomorrow? <laughs> um, right, I team. know, I know that she did mention several times about how the entire thing stopped because of the first two kids that got lost <laughs> which since i was the first kid that got lost i'm a big part of why pickup did not function today um but anyway i caught so that do they part. have another plan of attack i believe we are reverting to the thing that we did last year just to try it out and see if that works better because she wasn't here last year so she's never seen it in action yeah so she's going to allow us, I believe, to try it tomorrow, and then she will decide which one works better. But we'll see. Um, yeah, the um, president of the entire district came to visit today. Uh. Luckily, I was not in the class <laughs> at that time. I was having my lunch, but he did pop in, and um, he talked to me while I was trying to eat and probably had, you know, pepper and he's like hey did you see someone hit my car <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i got to i got to meet um him he's a nice guy he's yeah he seems nice he seems a little quirky oh but yeah um he was complimenting me on my lunch and um 
I knew that he was about to walk into the other classes with the kids who were actually eating the lunch, and he would soon realize that I stole lunch <laughs> from the kids. So I had to come clean and tell him. I was like, yeah, actually, this is this is what you're serving your kids. Doesn't it look delicious? Try Trying to, play, to it play, yeah, play it off as, you know, mm, it's so good and so healthy. It was a salad. It was chicken salad on top of a bed of lettuce. And it was it was actually really, really good. Um, what did he say? No, he was like, oh, that's what we're serving? That looks really good. I think I'll, I'll have to stop by the cafeteria and get one. And then he asked me if the chips that they had on the side were like whole wheat chips. And I look at them, I was like, I think they're corn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think they're Fritos. <laughs> they're like tortilla chips. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we did that, and um, my kids, my kids didn't really listen too well. Mm -hmm. They were constantly talking to each other, and um, was there a lot of teaching today? N the first three days of school are, um, it's called culture week, where we just kind of teach them rules and expectations and procedures, and we teach them how to walk in the hall, and we practice um, lunch, and we practice recess. We It's a lot of practice. Yeah. So not too much teaching as far as like Rehearsal. reading or math, but teaching procedures, I guess, is okay. what it was. So, um, I think it'll be better once we start rotating, because mm -hmm. my homeroom is huge. It's a lot of kids crammed into the class, and um, on these first three days, they are there all day long, from the minute they walk in to the minute they get lost at <laughs> pickup time. <laughs> um, they're with me. And that's crazy. And then once we rotate, then the groups get smaller. I think my biggest group will be like 14 kids, which well, that, should be good. Yeah, that'll but, calm down the ruckus. Yeah, but it was just insane today. How how about Harley? How did she do today? <clears throat> um, I know you got to hang out with her more than I did. Not really, but... <laughs> Slightly more? Slightly more. You she, got to talk to her while your boss was talking to you? Yeah, that was not great. Um, She said she had a good day. She said she she had a lot of fun. Good. Um, she was very excited about telling you that she had a good day. I guess you you prepped her that you were going to ask or yeah. something. I don't know. But she was like, I can't wait to tell Daddy that I had a great day, a great first day. And um, Yeah, she told me that she was a little bit nervous, and I told her, Harley, you're going to go to school. You're going to have a great day. And then when you come home, I'm going to say, how was your day? And you're going to tell me you had a great day. You're going to have the best day ever. So I'm, I'm glad she, she had a good day. Yeah. She, um, apparently, <laughs> she has a boyfriend what? now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I just felt, God, I got heated. <laughs> I felt like spikes were coming out of my shoulder. So at the end of the day, we're leaving... Um, and it's super, super late by this time. It's after 6. It's like 6.30, I want to say. Mm -hmm. We're walking out. And he drives away in his Harley. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're walking out of the building, and she goes, Mommy, I have to go to the bathroom. And I look at the clock, and I'm like, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is prime time Harley bathroom time. Yeah, she's usually about 6 to 7 pooper. Yeah. So, I... I let her into the teacher's restroom, um, and actually, at that point, when I when I put her into the teacher's restroom, I was like, "Oh, she's just gonna pee really quick, and then we'll be on our way." But then I I ended up finding myself slumped against the wall, and then I sat on the floor, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, she's pooping, isn't she?" <laughs> <laughs> so I opened the door, and I was like, "Yep, okay." So I closed the door. And um, I'm sitting there on the floor, and, like, the janitor's cleaning the floor, and she's like, la niña está adentro, and I was like, yeah, mm. she's she's there, <laughs> and she laughs, and then Harley, Harley goes, mommy, and she goes, ah, ya está lista, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh-huh, sí, está lista, because 
I have found, by the way, just side note, I found that if I just repeat what somebody tells me in Spanish, and it's it's kind of like agreeing with them, mm -hmm. but not really knowing what I'm talking about, like, for instance, ya está lista. Sí, está lista. I just repeat what they say, ah, and, and it then, sounds like I know what I'm talking like, about, but oh, I really we're, don't. We're talking in Spanish. <laughs> Look at us speaking in Spanish. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I went in, and I you know, helped her or whatever. And then she goes, mommy, I have to tell you a secret. And I was like, okay, tell me the secret. And she goes, oh, I have a new boyfriend. Oh. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? And she goes, yeah. Um, and I said, okay, well, what's his name? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> Classic Salas. <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean you don't know? Then how do you know he's your boyfriend? Well, I asked him, and he said, yes. I said, you asked him to be your boyfriend? And she said, yes. I asked him if he wanted to be my boyfriend, and he said yes. And I said, so does that mean I'm your girlfriend? And he said yes. And I was like, oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh. So, yeah. So uh, then she just wants a boyfriend. She does so bad. She's always talking about getting a boyfriend, <laughs> and she's talking about getting married. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You're too young. You got to finish school first. You can find a boyfriend on your coronation day. That's what I usually tell her, because <laughs> that's when Anna finds her boyfriend. <laughs> yes, of course. Um. Anyway, so. Right after that, I marched her to her her classroom, and I said, look, to her teacher, she just told me that she mm. has a boyfriend. She met him today in your class. And she goes, yeah, we were talking about it, and we really need to separate them because they just talk a lot. She goes, he's the one I was telling you about. You know, the one that only speaks Spanish and doesn't <laughs> understand <laughs> English. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So Harley, <laughs> Harley picked the one person that couldn't really, <laughs> couldn't tell her no, you know. So she's like, hey, you're going to be my boyfriend. And he said, uh huh. Say, si, si, señora. <laughs> not knowing what the heck is going on. Wow. She picks that guy. Gosh. I gotta beat a little Mexican kid up. Mm hmm. So, anyway, the teacher assures how, me that they're gonna be How can Harley have a conversation with someone that can't speak? <laughs> how can the teacher be complaining? They're co talking constantly when they cannot talk to each other. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. But I can just imagine because, like,. You know Harley, when she's around kids, she loves to hug them, uh, and she loves to kiss their hands, and what is she doing with this boyfriend that she has now? I'm like, in my uh, head, I just have an image of her kissing a little boy on the first day of school. Oh like, my goodness. Oh no. I said, she's this so can't bad. go on. This cannot go on. She goes, don't worry. We're going to nip this in the bud. I'm going to separate them tomorrow. Good. And essentially break Harley's heart. Good. <laughs> so she needs to be focusing on her studies. Oh my goodness. Mm, this little girl. Other than that, how was her first day before um. finding her first true love? <laughs> Pedro, probably. That's She's, a racist. <laughs> yeah. That's, she said she had a good day, so she's not. She's not upset that she has to go back. And that's all that we can hope for. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yep. I think we should wrap this up. Yes. Hit the music. <laughs> <laughs> Did I sell that? No, I don't think that's how he does it. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Hey. Hit. Hit the music. <laughs> hit. Hit it. The music. The music. Hit it. Uh, I want to thank... Alyssa for joining me today in our bedroom <laughs> uh -huh. I'm breaking the wall right now um, thank thank you everyone for listening uh, I apologize on behalf of Pete for not putting up any podcasts as of late but I spoke with him and uh, 
hopefully very soon I'm gonna start making him do them. What? You look like you wanted to say something. No. Oh yeah, heads up. We're probably gonna do them here. Not in the bedroom. <laughs> in our house. <laughs> Special thanks to Chico's bail bonds. I was gonna get to that. Probably. <laughs> Special thanks to our sponsor, Chico's Bail Bonds. Uh, and our real sponsor, audible.com slash TSUP for all your audiobook needs. Go on there and get a free audiobook. Uh, perhaps might I suggest one on teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you talking to me? I'm Is just, it because I haven't I'm just done talking it yet? In, I'm talking in general. I too have not done the free trial. Are you serious? <laughs> I'm very serious. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one <laughs> that has signed up. Oh my goodness. Anyways. Anyway. I'm Mark, tired of Pete's shit Rodriguez. And I'm <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa, the world's worst teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again for joining us. Have a happy Taco Tuesday. Bye bye. Bye bye. Shit, it wasn't recording. <laughs> <laughs>